Twitters, yesterday you brainstormed similes and metaphors that had to do with your color. Okay? I'm hearing a lot of shuffling, so I want desks down. Your notebooks are closed mm -hmm. right now. You should have brainstormed at least five similes and five metaphors. If you did not do that, that's what you're going to do first and foremost today. Close your notebook, please. Close your notebook. Pencil down. Pencil down. Okay. So first job today is to write out at least five similes and five metaphors. Remember, similes have the word like or as in them. Metaphors just are comparing two things without the words like or as. Okay. If you have your similes and metaphors, you finish, maybe you even have 12 or 14, okay? Today I want us to focus on revising and making our similes and metaphors better. So I've cho chosen the, the color orange here as an example. And I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna take one of my similes and make it a lot more descriptive. This goes along so well with our show don't tell, okay? So my first one here is orange is like a tiger. Can I add anything to that to make it more interesting? Or help you visualize what does that tiger look like? What does a tiger do? What does a tiger bring with it when it comes into a room? What does it look like? Joy. Say that again. Large. A large tiger. Okay, Isla. Orange is like a tiger looking for its prey. Ah, so Isla's bringing in some verbs there. It's a looking for a prey. How does a tiger walk? Does it like prance about like a horse? Mm -hmm. No. What does a tiger walk like? Yeah. It's kind of like creeping. Ah, creeping. Nate? I have um one that's like similar to like what I was saying. Okay, so making Isla's a little bit better, what would you say? Orange is like a tiger about to eat. Ah, all right, here's my idea. I love this tiger doing something. Orange is like a tiger crouched. And ready to pounce. On its prey. Can you guys visualize that now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I changed 